Two defense friends again. Oh, okay, we're on. Oh, question nine. We're straight on that. Um, show. Oh, what a match this question was. Show that we scored almost no marks on this. Is it class? Brilliant. Um, show that sine. Oh, it's not even working. Sine two theta tan theta plus cot theta is equal to two. Now remember, remember, show that. So again, we're back in that place where we have to we have to be absolutely careful that we're not skipping steps. That what we're doing is really really obvious. Right. Um, we've got shh, we've got a couple of identities going on here. Sine two theta is two sine theta cos theta. Let's grab a mark for that. Tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. Cot theta is cos theta over sine theta. I'm working on the left hand side here, of course, aren't I? Like that. If I multiply out this bracket. It gives me um, that times this is 2 sine squared theta, because the cos theta would cancel out. Sine theta times sine theta is sine squared. That one times that term is 2 cos squared theta. At this point, I know I've got it right, because I know that that's equal to 2. I can't just write equals 2. Because there is no identity that says 2 sine squared theta plus cos, 2 cos squared theta equals 2. That's not what we learnt. We learnt that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. So I have to write that line first to demonstrate that that's the identity I'm using. And that equals 2. That's where quite a few people got 3 out of 4 marks. Because they got that far and then said that equals 2, instead of going through that step that justifies that that equals 2. It's harsh, but that was what happened. Now, well, I'm going to highlight a word in the next section of this paper. Hence. <coughs> Hence. I've, I've talked to that. Let me another drink. Hence, it's got to be, you've got to use what we've just done. So that little word hint there is telling you that there must be, this must be something that we can relate to this. So let's look at it. Tan um, a half, a uh, twelfth of pi. This is part 2a. Oh no. <coughs> Tan pi by 12 is, oh I can't remember what it said. Plus tan pi by 8 plus cot pi by 12 plus cot pi by 8. Right. Well, can we, can we see a link with what we started with? Well, yeah, I hope so. Look, we've got tan theta plus cot theta. That's what we've got to go on. That identity says that tan theta plus cot theta is 2 over sine 2 theta. Right. Tan theta plus cot theta is 2 over sine 2 theta from part 1. And here we have tan pi by 12 plus cot pi by 12 added to tan pi by 8 plus cot pi by 8. Using part one, hence, this is 2 over sine pi by 6, and this is 2 over sine pi by 4. We have to see those two terms. You can work those two terms out with the calculator if you really need to. Sine of pi by 6. That's sine 30, which is a half. That makes that 4. 2 over a half is 4. That is 2 over root 2 over 2. 2 over 1 over root 2. You could think of it like that. So our answer is 4 <coughs> plus 2 root 2. Um, I think there are other ways of writing that as a, 
I think four, four plus four over root two was acceptable as well uh, as an answer to that. If you did root two over two, is your thing of dividing that. There we go. See how we use the hence in that? Part two, or part B. Solve the equation sine four theta tan theta plus cot theta equals one. Well, look, again, we've got to relate this to what's going on here. See if we can spot the similarity, see what we can do with it. Um, sine four theta tan theta plus cot theta. Plus one, and we're doing it in values of theta from zero to pi by two. Okay. Um, so, so what what can we do with that to turn it into something we can work with? Um, so, sine four theta is. Two. Is this the way to go with it? Yes. Sine 4 theta would be 2. Sine 2 theta cos 2 theta. That's sine 2a is 2 sine a cos a. Times tan theta plus cot theta equals 1. Can you see what we've done there? We've used sine 4 theta as 2 sine 2 theta cos 2 theta. Now, forget about the cos 2 theta for a moment. We've got sine 2 theta times tan theta plus cos theta. Sine 2 theta times tan theta plus cos theta there. That bit, that times that, is equal to 2. So altogether this is 2 times 2 cos 2 theta is equal to 1. And we just go straight to that line. That's horribly simple, isn't it, to get to that. So that you shake, you shook your head there. Is that? Do you see where that's come from, or is it? Yeah. Yeah. Where's the four come from? The four is because. <laughs> hang on, I maybe want to write another line here because. I... Can you see what we've got? We've got two cos two theta times sine two theta tan theta plus cot theta is equal to one. You see that bit that's bracketed there is worth 2 from part 1 of the question. So that's 2 times 2 cos 2 theta. Leaving us with cos 2 theta is a quarter. Inverse cos of a quarter. Remembering that we're in radians. Is 1.2 theta. Is 1.318. And thinking about, I don't know whether you want to do cast diagram or not, if we're doing theta between 0 and pi by 2, that means 2 theta has got to be between 0 and pi. So do we get any other values between 0 and pi? Well, we don't, do we? Because it's, it's cos and the other value. We've got one value there, the other value will be down there. It's not between 0 and pi. So divide that by 2, and that's the only answer we're interested in. 0.659 as our value of theta. There it is, and we've just got time. We've just got time to do the final part. Express that unpleasant looking thing in terms of sine theta. I'm going to write it on the next page. 1 minus cos 2 theta squared tan a half theta plus cot a half theta cubed in terms of sine theta. Right, well, what can we do with our identities to help us? Bearing in mind that we'd quite like to get to this, to have something to do with sine times this. Sine theta times this would be lovely because we could work with that. Um, cos 2 theta, thinking about wanting it in terms of sine, cos 2 theta is cos squared minus sine squared, which is 1 minus sine squared minus sine squared. I don't know why I'm writing all the detail out. So it's 1 minus 2 sine squared theta, isn't it? 
That's, that's our identity from our trig identities that we have learnt. So that becomes 1 minus 1 minus 2 sine squared theta, all squared, times tan a half theta plus cot a half theta cubed. Um, inside that bracket, we've got 1 minus 1. Uh, so that's 0. Minus, minus, so plus. We've got 2 sine to the 4. Oh, no, we haven't. I need to compare them ourselves then. We've got 2 sine squared theta squared times tan a half theta plus cot a half theta cubed. Are you happy with that? That's 1 minus 1 is 0. Minus, minus 2 gives us the plus 2. This is 4 sine to the 4 theta times tan a half theta plus cot a half theta cubed. Now we've got a slight dilemma here in which we've got a power of 4 and a power of 3, but we can get around that easy enough. We can rewrite this multiplication sum as being 4 sine theta times sine cubed theta tan a half theta plus cot a half theta cubed. Oops. And that bit, that bit in there, is just part one cubed. Sine, that's the, the sine, uh, it's, instead of two theta, it's theta and a half theta, but it's still the same thing. So that is two. Four sine theta times two cubed, which gives us 32 sine theta as our final answer. Um, interestingly, that's not the way that it does it on the art scheme, that's the way that I've just done it now. So, still, it's fun. And that's maths. <laughs>